most high God, I want to know why are there so many sickly and afflicted among us? I don't understand why the greatest ministries throughout our generations and probably before have been the healing ministries. I understand why Yahshua, Jesus was, his ministry was about healing. Because he was pre-Holy Ghost. See, when the Holy Ghost came, the Comforter, the Holy Ghost brought gifts and fruit. And whatever, God said, whatever ails you, whatever, I've already given you the antidote, if you will. I've given you the spiritual penicillin to heal all of your diseases. Come on, somebody. I don't care if it's cancer, if it's diabetes, leukemia, tumors. Come on, somebody. Listen, my little nephew, Samuel, Samuel as he calls himself, Samuel. Yes, Samuel. Samuel. Went in for a, a minor uh, day surgery to put tubes in his ears because of the drainage that was causing backup in his inner ear, causing him to not be able to hear clearly, which was impeding his ability to hear and learn. See how important hearing Amen. is to the to 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 be able to to develop as God's people. Amen. That's why there's so many pardon the the expression, but there's spiritually retardation in the kingdom, and they don't know how to speak the right word, and they're speaking stupid things, and they're praying amiss, as the book of James chapter three tells us. And Samuel went in for a little, a little uh, tube uh, surgery, and when they went to, to in one of his ears, when they went to cut, they, they found a tumor. Well, you know tumors are never good. And they said, we're going to have to do an MRI on him. And so they, they scheduled an appointment for him to go in and, and get this MRI performed on him. And, and Raquel had to take him in and they had to uh, sedate him through a light sedation and, and uh, put him under. And, and, and it's just a big ordeal to get a child to sit still for an MRI. Well, it's impossible. That's why you have to knock them out. And so they went in this week for the results. And they got there. The doctor said, "We're going." To, there was a mistake. That somebody changed the orders. Well, no, hold on. It's not. Not. But. But I believe all things work together for good. And they said we have to redo. We have to redo it because we took a scan. Well, they took a scan of his neck instead of his ear. Well, Raquel was very upset. She was like, I'm trying to find the silver lining in the matter, but there's not one. And in my spirit, in my mind, here's what I do. But see, if, if, if you think, listen, is the glass half full or half empty? And, and, and the way I saw it was like, okay, but was the report, did the report find a tumor? Well, I don't care if they misread. There's a report that says there's no tumor. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. I dare you. See, why, why do we want to agree with the report that says we found a tumor? Why can't we really? Because it's of his neck. It doesn't make tumor. See, you're, 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 you're not thinking by the power of agreement that God, it's a moment of destiny. Do you think that God, God planned for a little child who is, is innocent? For him to go through something like that, if not for a good reason. Well, that was, I, I would talk about, we need to send that to those doctors. We need I believe that all things work together. And yes, while they might be frustrated to think about, I'm going, okay, you know what, because I keep saying, Samuel, is whole. Hallelujah. Yeah, but, but his disease 
Why are you giving him a disease? Why can you not believe with me and come? You don't even have to have faith. I have the faith to believe that all things are possible to them that believe. And I can believe Samuel is not sick. And they get mad. They get angry at me because I say he's just being bratty. No, he's not. He's got special heat. Okay. Church. Amen. 
that he would pour out upon the earth. Even Joel 2.28 says, help me on how to start Joel 2.28. Um, the Spirit of the Lord shall fall upon all flesh. Did you hear that? It didn't say it's just going to fall upon the Charismatics or the Assembly of God or the Pentecostals or the Baptists or the Mormons or the Muslims. There are two things that I know, I don't care where you are today, that you will not escape. That is the knowledge of the glory of God. You're going to know. You're going to know who's behind what is. And the other one is that when Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God, falls upon all flesh. Can you imagine if we woke up tomorrow and the Spirit of the Lord fell upon all flesh, including Congress and Senate and the House and the White House and the, and the Crack House and the whole House and your house? Can you imagine what what a difference it would be. Amen. I don't hear me. See, come on. you, you got to think outside of the box. Praise the Lord, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world. Praise the Lord. The knowledge of the Lord will cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. Everybody is always talking about, Lord, send the glory down. But they're aborting relationships left and right. They're changing relationships and people and pastors and churches and congregations like they change their underwear. And the kind of worship that, that unlocks the glory of God, that, that causes Habakkuk 2.14 to manifest itself, to become the living word, is a worship that is rooted and based in agreement. Amen. Everybody say agreement. Amen. The church, I believe, I don't care how many testimonies, I don't have, care how many successes, I don't care how many mega churches crop up, as my Bible says in the book of Revelation, one out of seven churches is right, and the other six have left their first love. God will look and say, I see the great buildings, I see the throngs of people, I see how many services you had them on Saturday night, you had them on early Sunday morning, you had them on Sunday afternoon, but you forgot one thing. You forgot your first love. And you have to understand it was agreement before it was love. Amen. Amen. First agreement, then love was born. The church will not see the glory until we remove all the schisms and divisions among us. And you say, but doctor, there's always going to be people. Yeah, there's always going to be people who will get under your skin. But if you walk in agreement, you won't let the sun go down upon your wrath. Because the Bible clearly states a, a, some strange happenings will happen if you let that happen. Y'all need to read my other book, The Secret. It will tell you all about the secret power of lawlessness Amen. and the secret that is lurking in churches all over called offense. Amen. Okay, Amos 3.3 3 says, How can two people walk together, sit together, unless they be agreed? How do you sit? Listen, listen, listen. Everybody's got to hear this because we're going to have a come to Jesus moment, as they say. Hello? 